haven't found what you cherish, have you? What you truly desire. The voice's owner slowly reveals herself. That figure was the one thing I didn't want to see. I faced her once in the past, but now that I have to face her again, I'm scared. Yukiko Senpai's shadow? This can't be. That's right. The the one that appeared before everyone was myself. My own face mocking me. Now that everything's peaceful, no one will help me. I'm suffering now, yet no one notices. I'm beside myself because I can't tell if I'm making any real progress. Isn't that right, me? I can't believe this. Why? I mean, I've already defeated my own shadow and obtained a persona. There's no way she could be before me again. But then I notice something. If I stir up more trouble, everyone will worry. I'm sure. No, I know for a fact that my real prince will come save me this time. My shadow's smile widens as she stares at me. I couldn't face the gaze, and my eyes wander across the ground. My box lunch slowly came into my field of view. My shadow seems to have realized what I was glancing at, and she intensifies her verbal assault. <laughs> I mean, take that box lunch. I said that I made it for everyone, but I'm not at all confident about it. I could have given it to me, but I didn't. I was so scared and sick that I couldn't. Yet I can't throw it away either. That box lunch is just like me. I did my best, but I don't know whether or not it came out good. Just like poor pitiful me. That's not true! Come, Konohana Sakuya! Huh? I can't summon my persona? Nothing happens. It's as if I've never had the power to begin with. No. Why? How can this be? No. This isn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> I look so pitiful. Did you think that just because you gained your persona that your shadow would never appear again? Did you think you'd never meet me again after you accepted yourself? Sorry, but no one ever really lets go of their weaknesses. I'll always be with you. Has my persona really turned back into a shadow? Was all the progress I thought I made only in my mind? Have it really not changed at all? The words cast at me earlier cut fresh wounds into my heart. <laughs> you tried to act all high and mighty by saying you were determined, but you were just trying not to rock the boat. It's too much trouble thinking on your own. So you closed your eyes to everything. Isn't that right, Miss Goody Two Shoes? Have you ever thought about the problem you cause for others? You may not realize, but you completely rely on us. That box lunch you brought today is a perfect example. Nobody ever said they wanted you to make them one. You always just wait for things to happen. You won't. You can't do anything until someone makes the choice for you. You haven't changed at all. Just like last year, you're still waiting for someone to come and rescue you. The me that gave up thinking for myself. The me that ignores the feelings of others and is only thinking about myself. The me that can't do anything on my own. The me that pretended to have grown but in reality hasn't changed at all. My weakness caused this case and dragged everyone into it. The shadow continues the verbal barrage as I stand trembling. I've always been by your side. You were just tuning me out for a while. <laughs> Isn't that true? Poor pitiful me. Please, stop! I catch myself covering my face with my hands. I don't want to see or hear any more. I'm scared. Yukun and the others are getting a full view of my pitiful self. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I can't even stand. Please, stop! I... I... Have I not changed at all, at all since back then? Did I actually know that deep down, but I was just trying to ignore it? Please, no more. 
I just want to let go. I want to let go of everything. Yukiko-san! Yukiko, don't let it fool you. <gasps> He's right, Yukiko-senpai. Look up at us. Ah. I... What am I doing? Why was I so frightened? Yukun, Rizichan, Miss President? I can hear all the reassuring voices, too. I'm not alone. No matter how pitiful I am or how painful things are, I have great friends who aren't embarrassed of me. They accept me as who I am and will fight alongside me. Reassuring voices pull me out of the darkness. Um, uh, I... I slowly open my eyes. Before me, I see Yukun's back. He has stepped in between the shadow and I to try and protect me. Rizu Chan is holding my body up. Don't give in. You overcame your weakness back then, didn't you? We all know you did. We were there. Yeah, you're not running away from anything. Not last time and not this time either. You came to rescue me just like you said. This is the second time you've done that. You're not weak at all. You're both right. I can face myself. I can do this. Yukun, please, let me do this. Yukun and I exchange glances. When he sees me nod with determination, Yukun's expression softens and he stands aside. He believes in me. He, his trust makes me so happy right now. Thank you, Yukun. Look after Miss President and Risei chan Of course. I get back to my feet and stand firmly. I fix my gaze upon the smirking shadow in front of me. If it wasn't my weakness that caused this case, if it oh, if it was my weakness that caused this case, then I'll bring it to an end to this case myself. People never let go of their weaknesses. You're probably right about that. That's why I must continue fighting against mine. And I can do it because I know I'm not alone. Yes, now I can take a step towards that goal. Yukiko-san, can you really beat her? Watch me. Miss President's voice. Yeah, I'm surprised too. If not for everyone, I'd never have realized I possess such inner strength. I take a deep breath. I won't look away again. You say you're my weakness? Then no matter how many times you come back, I will continue to stand up against you. Now, come. See, I just summoned Persona. This time I feel the strength flowing through me and my Persona Konohana Sakiya appears. The shadow contorts her face in pure hatred from seeing me stand up against her. See, see, now now think about, Yukiko, think about this. Your shadow is your persona. You just summoned your persona and your shadow is still standing there. Why? Why aren't you despairing? I was so close to. Are we actually going to fight her? I guess so. Ah! <laughs> Oh, is it after you beat the story mode or something, or after certain modes, you can unlock the shadow versions of everybody and, like, play as them? Can you do that? Can we do that? <laughs> Konohana Sakia versus Konohana Sakia. Who shall win? Hopefully me. <laughs> Dear. Hey, how do I don't know these combos. <laughs> Try that again. Welcome to the I wish you good luck. I shall try this again, shall we? 
God, my hands are all sweaty. Don't you hate it where it's like your hands get all sweaty and it's like just start sliding around the controller and you're like, oh god. It's not cool. Not cool. No! No! Hell. Jeez! Burn, 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 burn! Oh dear God! Nice! Whoo! I didn't know I could throw my fan. <laughs> Hoo hoo, that was who. Okay. Now they're half hour of text. Go! With my final strike, the shadow stops moving. I won! I've defeated her! Again! You did it, Yukiko. Mm, thanks. I truly feel horrible that my weakness was what caused this case. I'm sure that everyone will still accept me, though. And this time, I know for sure that I'm not just pretending that I overcome my weaknesses. I'll be alright now. Even if I go astray again, I'll be able to stand against it. Huh? Senpai, be careful! Something's not right with the shadow! <gasps> we all turn towards Rize-chan and, and simultaneously all the lights in the announcement room turn off. What happened? They repeatedly suffered the pain of fighting their friends, but they still didn't lose heart. A voice echoes in the darkness. An ominous voice that makes me feel like insects crawling all over my skin. But still, this voice is somehow familiar. No one can understand you after all. What a shame. The lights come back on, and the one standing before me was the fake Teddy? But why? Just a moment ago, I was positive that my shadow was there. What? What are you talking about? The fake Teddy looks straight at Miss President and is addressing her. The air about him and even his voice are completely different now. Who are you? I thought you were my shadow. No, that's not true, Senpai. I couldn't tell until now, but the one this thing's based on is Miss President. Ha ha, I was right. What are you talking about, Rize-chan? That's impossible. I mean, just a moment ago, I was... I thought something was odd. Yukiko used her persona in the fight. Personas and shadows are one and the same. It's impossible for both to exist at once. Yukun is right. How could I have forgotten that? The power of personas can only be obtained by accepting one's shadow. The reason I'm able to use my persona is because I already faced my shadow. But I was fighting that thing with my persona. It couldn't be possibly be my shadow. Plus, we've never seen a shadow take on someone else's appearance. Maybe that's why your conversations with each other got all jumbled up. Either way, this isn't like last year. Hey, would you, you stop, stop treating me like I'm some kind, kind of freak? But you are. I'm kidding. Sort of. This wasn't my power originally. It's hers. Her power? What's that supposed to mean? Miss President cradles her head and denies the shadow's words. Why so desperate all of a sudden? It's about time you remember. Stop deluding yourself. Are we gonna get the Teddy cutscene? That's awesome. I'll just skip it. <laughs> we know. We all know what happens by now. I am a shadow, the true self. 
That's my face. No. The fake Teddy turned into a form that looks exactly like Miss President. So it's Miss President's shadow? A shadow that can change forms is completely unheard of. I still can't believe it, despite all the evidence pointing to it. I think that's its real appearance. Look at it next to Miss President over there. I try to compare them, as Rizichan says. But Miss President is trembling uncontrollably and trying to hide. Still, the shadow's face is pretty much identical to what I know of Miss President. Although, the shadow's body is covered with all kinds of metallic parts, and she looks like she's some kind of robot. The real Miss President is acting like I was. She shuts her eyes tight and shaking her head. I'm not deceiving myself! I don't know you! Huh. You're, You're still, still trying, trying to, to look, look away? away? Then the how else do you explain, explain me? me? The power to scramble other people's senses? Those people there must be aware of it. Ask yourself. Why do I have such powers? Because you, the real one, have them too. The power to scramble other people's senses? I get it now. That's why everyone wasn't making any sense when we fought. I see. If I had lost my mind during those matches, I should have realized it. But I never did. Neither did the others. So we didn't really lose our minds, we just seemed that way to the other person. Which means no matter what the other person really said or did, we perceive it as being something completely different. I'm sorry, Yukiko, but you were able to figure out that fake Teddy is uh, Miss, Shadow, or Miss President's shadow, but it took you this long to realize that, the, that your words were being jumbled? Seriously. So that... So that was the reason why everyone's attitudes and con conversations didn't match up after the fight was over. We were both hearing things that neither of us said. But why does that? Sh why does the shadow keep saying the power is Miss President's own power? What could that possibly mean? Is that Miss President's persona ability, or is it something else? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good guess. But it's wrong. I was born with this ability. More like a weapon designed for infiltration. I infiltration? Weapon? That doesn't make any sense at all. What are you talking about? No! No! I don't want to remember! You don't? Hey, fly with me. Then you can die as you are. The shadow brandishes the giant axe in her hand and comes charging at Miss President. Miss President is still trembling and doesn't seem like she can move. No! My body moved faster than I could think. I reflect, reflexively slide my body in between the shadow and Miss President. Look out! Yukiko! The moment I embrace Miss President to shield her from the shadow's axe, I hear the ping of metallic striking metal. Senpai! Senpai, hang in there! Yukun! Yukun stopped the axe with his sword, holy hell, to protect me and Miss President, but the power of the shadow's attack knocks him away. I'm scared, but I can't back down now. Yukun gave his all to protect us, so now it's my turn! Oh no. No, 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 no. We're not fighting her. We are not fighting her. The shadow glares at me in disgust as it sees me refusing to move from Miss President. Why are you protecting her? You've had your turn already. Get out of my way. The only one I have business with is me over there. The shadow brandishes the giant axe at us once again with pure rage. This shadow's strong. But I can't run away. The moment I was about to summon my persona, the presence behind me moved. Eliminating shadow. No way! Oh, that's so cool! Huh? I have absolutely no idea what happened. I hear sounds of machinery whirring. It's not from the shadow. It's coming from Miss President. 
target confirmed to be a shadow. Fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon Labris initiating elimination process. What in the world is Miss President? Oh, come on! To be continued, my butt. 28% my butt as well. Alright, so now Nato we're saving for last, so I think the next one in the order will be either Teddy or Kanji. One of these two. And then, uh, yeah, so Teddy, oh, so, wow, okay, so that was you. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> so, that was really cool, um, how... She basically, instead of like transforming, like, no! she actually turned into the, she actually turned into like Aigas and she's like, anti shadow weapon complete. I will eliminate the target. So that's gonna be interesting. Oh my god. So, alrighty, so that was Yukiko's story down. We got Kanji, Teddy's, uh, Akihiko's, Mitsuru's, Aigas's, and Naoto's left to go. So we are. Almost halfway there. Like, once we finish Kanji's, we'll be about halfway there. Even though it says complete, 28%. So, anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, yeah. Hope to see more Persona 4 Arena soon. Bye!